Hey, how you doing guys? This is Damian Mimic Randall from California Spinners. Uh, please hit the like button. And uh, if you haven't, please subscribe to my channel for um, more videos. And um, today, um, I'm looking over my babies over the floor and I'm checking and see who's um, laying and who, um, who are about to lay. And looking to see if I wanna switch up any maintenance. Um, I put a new pair in here, this little check pair. They were in the stalls, but um, I wanted to get the young cock in here. And I had two stalls open in there, so I'm trying to get him ready. Um, I was looking at my babies, and um, if you see, well, that's the hen I breed from in the dark. That's her daughter there. The, Black grizzle inside here. Uh, that's her grandson. The grizzle is bred to right there. So that's the double factor in the grizzle. Um, I got a black model right there. Um, a red grizzle there. Dark tortoise shell there. Um, red grizzle. Uh, white speck. Call the white tick. I have another black grizzle there. Um, he has grizzling behind him. And so I was looking at my babies and I did a good job of breeding against the grizzling. If you look at my babies here, you'll notice. It's a blue check white flight. It's a red cell. Another red cell right there. Got a black cell. Then I got a little lavender in the back over there hiding. See the, um, like some red bar right here, like a little dun. Uh, that's one grizzle there. And that's all that double factor grizzle and I put together with the um, with the auntie and the nephew. I was trying to make white and that's as close as I can get, I guess, off that pair. If you look at this beak, um, <clears throat> you notice that beak is dark. And the nest mate, um, the nest mate was a black cell or black check. So I don't know exactly where it is right now. But if you look at the beak on the bird, you'll notice that beak is dark, has a dark stain to it, and the tip is real dark. And then the toenails um, are kind of light. It lets me know that this bird is, um, it is showing that it's a red grizzle, check or whatever, but it's really a check. And when I breed it again, um, I, I more than likely put it on the self um, to breathe against the grizzling, but I know that it's a check sitting behind that bird. And what that tells me uh, with my birds is that that bird is showing a lot of strength in it. Here's the other batch of babies here. And as you see, um, there's another like khaki color done in there. Um, blue check, white flight, little blue check. Black check, another little blue check in there, some red white flight, red self again, blue bar, little black check, blue check rather open pattern, little black self on the floor, and then another red. And what that told me was that I did exactly what I was trying to do, which was breathe against the grizzly. So even though I say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight pair out of the 20 I had down, nine, nine pair of the 20 I had down had grizzle behind it. Out of that, I only got one little red grizzle. And 
that red grizzle right there. <coughs> is a double factor great grandbaby to this. And she's a red chip. But you see the grizzle in her? You see that stained beak? So. I look back at this little cop right here, and that's what I see. And because I double factored the grizzly behind it, I lost some of the checking factor that she had, but I still got the bird back, or the hen back. And looking at the tips, and seeing the base of those tips right there, not a white fly. It's actually a self or a mixed wing. We can argue that later, but I kind of know these birds. <coughs> okay, um. This bird right here, this red self, she's the great, great on that little red also, that red grizzly. He's a cousin from another side of the slate. She's right off the slate cop. Actual uh, GPS 03533. This hen here. This hen here. And this blue check cop sitting in the nest here. Are the last three um, that I have directly off. GVS um, 03533. She's about to lay again. If she hasn't laid already, she has a tail sitting on uh, She hasn't dropped it yet. She's, she actually laid and had the babies that hatched already. Bought the bandies, so. See those beaks? I like it. Look like a check white flight and a check next wing coming off of these two. Thank you. 
If you notice, I put a red on a red. Um, reason being, um, the cock isn't really a, a recessive red. The hen's a recessive red, and if you look at them on the camera, you can actually see that they um, that the hen is different from the cock. The hen is a recessive red off of 16, and we three quarters 16 to make her. If you look at her, she'll show you to see. Look at her tail. Under the bridge of her tail, you can tell you can see where the bird is on. Recessive, and you can see the recessive right there. She's almost, uh, the tail's kind of diluted, showing the bristle in there from the hand. Now with the cock, you can notice a difference in the cock. Now look at the cock, he's ashy, that, that kind of charcoal grayish color. Look, see the bridge of the tail. together since 2014. I haven't broke them up. Um, all the babies uh, range from 15 to 35, 40 feet, and it's two different spin ranges as far as speed is concerned. The second one is what I like, and they usually come off the ash cocks that are the ash hens that resemble the cock that have. The recessives that come out like her are more frequent. So, with that combination, I kind of use the same breeding techniques. Um, this is a Chet. This, uh, that dark tort right there. She's a blue Chet. I've tested, I've bred her. Um, she's always produced like a blue, a blue Chet every time. So, I put this recessive red on her. And the recessive red, that's a lot of jammed up three right there. So what I'm looking for is I'm looking for 40 to 45, 50 footers off this pair. She was producing me light toward cocks off the last uh, cock I had her too. And I love the speed on them. I just didn't like the fact that she was dominating with the grizzle gene. So I put her on him to counteract the grizzle gene. And it worked out the way I wanted. Um, her baby's down here. Um, it's a little shed. And a, a little white fly. I think it's that red white fly. It's a little, yeah, it's this red white flight right here. And uh, that's made with a check. But that's what I like that it dominated the grizzle gene. Took over the grizzle gene, knocked it out for me. So now I could take him and reintroduce him back into something else. And as long as I don't throw it on the grizzle, I'll be fine. As soon as I throw it to a grizzle, it's gonna, um, it's gonna give me back grizzles automatic. Because by the way I put it together. Now this little dunnish colored thing right here. I love this little red. It has like a red head, you can see it in the light. It has a red cap on it. Beautiful bird, a lot of color. And this goes back to the 23 blood. Off of this, um, this hen I call A15. Blood, uh, 
114 blood. Depends on what you're doing that. Mm -hmm. This is my 114 blood also. This cock right here is a part of my 50 foot squad. He came from the 114 blood via Hollywood. This little check right here. That hand right there, that hand right 
stairs off of the floor. Off the floor is three quarters of 100. Different line, different side. But still part of the Rizzler family. She's related to this little hand up here. They have the same daddy. Different mothers. This guy right here. This is. That's the grateful grandson. His dad was 55. Uh, Him, made him to this little grizzle right here, and flew in this guy off for 35, 40 foot. So this is some of my family. This part of my Rocky Mountain family right there. And his dad is the son right off the slate right here. Took him and put him on his half sister. This was the Rocky Mountain hand. That hand right there, and I cut the half brother and sister. And this is their auntie, and that's who the red checks made it to right now. call his mom off the floor was as you can see they raise him off the floor that's why I took the babies out because his nest that he was like oh my god yeah, was there and the babies were too big 
and they needed the leg in it before I could switch around. She laid. But this is 1080 or 1018, which is uh, Higgins Blood, and I put it on three quarters of 100. And if you know anything about the 100 blood and the 3 and the 16 blood, those eyes should tell you a story. That, this pair right here throw me some of my most frequent babies. Damn near five to six times a minute. And they get a little too frequent. I have to keep them fed up. This little Don in here. That Don right like there, that's another one. 114 birds. And that's the sister too. Well, half sister to that little check that's up in the corner over here. Off of the 114 cock and the slate. This blue boy right here, that's the center tail blood. And this is the daughter. The center tail blood. She looks just like a mother. She was the daughter to the hand on the center tail. I bred, bred her back to uh, cock carrier 618. And the Reed Blue Boy made her. And then off of her, I made that red center to the hand and just throw that on right there. And I also made this little black center to the hand right here. That's on their granddaddy, which is the center tail. Or three quarters of the center tail. One fertile egg out this garden already. The old man's tired, but he's still pumping. So, and this right here, this little grizzle. This is another one of the um hand I breathe from in the dark babies, which is where'd she go? Oh there she go. That's the hand I breathe from in the dark. And this is another one of her daughters. And that was flown in. I sent it to the auction. And I got her on a check cop off of three quarters of three. And here's another lead pigeon. And that's a different side of the reed family. That's where I get my ashes from. That's the hand that makes my ashes. And then little dude right there. I'm just trying to break him in. He's young. And that's from high depth. Just want to break him in. He's in a mate. And then I give him back high depth. Right here, that's Johnny Smith. Black and white in the pan right here. Keep the flow. I got two ladies off the hill.
You gotta know when to foster. All right, guys. Thank you for checking out the breeders with me. Uh, <clears throat> I'll come back tomorrow in the morning to show you how I get the birds acclimated to me. Um, it's part of the training process. Um, getting the squeakers to know me. Um, still waiting on some of the young ones to get it together. So these two are really waiting on. So everybody's kind of getting a head start. I'm waiting on these guys. But thank you for checking out California Spinners. You guys, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe and tell your friends to subscribe. We're like 40 way, uh, 40 subscribers away from me giving away a hen, a breeder hen for you guys. Um, so um, tell your friends to subscribe and uh, share the page. And thank you for checking me out. This is Damien from California Spinners, and I'm out.